Welcome to this week's video. This week, I'm gonna be showing you how to take really long, grown out roots and we're gonna bleach them out and we're gonna turn Ally into this beautiful pastel lilac lavender bombshell. Now, we have been doing her hair for many, many years. When we first met Ally, she was bleaching out her own hair with box dye from the drugstore and it was really damaged and together we nursed her hair back to health. If you want to watch snippets of Ali's hair transformations over the years, I will link that video right here. You can see even though we changed her hair a whole bunch, well actually not just me, I started it, Veronica did most of it. Even though Ali was changing her hair the entire time, her hair managed to grow out, stay long, beautiful, and healthy. Obviously, there were some things that she needed to do to take care of it at home, but it was a team effort, and together, you can see her today. Now her hair has grown out for about a year, and she's ready to do something drastic. She wants change, she wants fun, she wants vibrancy. So what we decided is we're gonna take her to a solid lilac lavender color, roots to end. And there are a few processes that we need to do to ensure that her hair stays beautiful and healthy at the end of it. Hair is only beautiful if it's healthy. If you have long hair and it's all split and damaged, that looks really bad. Or if you have a color and it's super dull and lifeless, that also isn't that attractive. It's more than just hair. When you love your hair and you love the way that it looks in the mirror and you love the way that you look in the mirror, you love the way that it feels, it is directly related to boosting your self-esteem, boosting your self-confidence, really everything. Before we get started though, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell so that you're notified whenever our videos go live. We post new videos every other week and each video is aimed to teach you something, whether that be about yourself, growing your craft, or growing your chair business. Me and Veronica are only where we're at today because we took that time to invest into our own learning. Okay, so let's get into the video. So step one, you see here, this is Allie's beautiful hair. So as you look at her hair here, we have a little bit of virgin and then she has a little bit of low lights in her ends, which have faded out quite nicely. It's almost nothing left. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna take 20 ball and blonde me. I'm gonna leave about an inch or half an inch of perimeter from her scalp because that's gonna lift super quickly. It's not just the heat from the scalp that causes the hair to lighten faster. It's also that the hair isn't fully keratinized yet. So basically what that means is that there's not as many layers of hair for the lightener to eat through. And so you'll find that the lightener will lift right at the roots a lot faster than the rest of the strand. Best practice for whenever you're doing a full head of bleach and tone is to start where the hair is either the coarsest or the darkest. So in Ali's case, it's definitely gonna be in the back quadrants. I'm gonna put it on all the dark in between, and then I'm gonna go back through and put it on her roots. So now I have it applied to all of the mid shafts. So what I'm gonna do to keep her hair clean is I'm just gonna part it down the center, and then I'm gonna apply it to her roots just in like between like this and get this everywhere else. Time is money when it comes to these big color corrections. Even with me working as efficiently as possible, Ali was still sitting in my chair for four and a half hours. Here's a time-saving technique from you. Rather than clipping each section out of the way, when you're ready to work on it, just use your lightener to outline the section to keep everything neatly in place and work from the bottom up. That way you can keep your client really nice and clean. You can see how beautifully it's lifting already. And then you're just gonna continue all the way up the head and then you're gonna do the sides in the same way. You're gonna just do vertical sections and then so you can pull them back this way. Here you can see the application is all done and I'm gonna let it process for a little bit. I'm gonna check it in about 15 minutes. The lightener has lifted it beautifully and so now what I wanna do is look through her ends to see if there are any dark pieces that I need to pick out. Because I want a seamless finish from root to end, I need to make sure that there's even lightness from root to end. For her ends, I'm just gonna use Blonde Me and Seven Ball. Now her hair's all done. You can see what it looks like rinsed out and it is the perfect palette. I know to the naked eye it looks really yellow, but if you look at it into the light, you can see how nice and translucent it is. 
that she's always going to have a little bit of underpigment show through, but that's something that we're going to neutralize out with our very first toner. The first thing I'm going to do is take the Blonde Me Steel Blue Toner and apply it anywhere that is the yellowest first. Here's her beautiful palette of yellow hair. So in order for her lilac color to show up, first thing we have to do is neutralize the palette. So I'm going to put on Steel Blue from Blonde Me. It's just with 7 Ball. It's going to neutralize this out beautifully, give me a really nice ashy base. And then that will be, then her hair will be ready to put the lilac over top. Once you're finished applying to all the yellow parts, you're going to go through and do all the pale yellow parts. Once you finish that, you're going to go ahead and apply the toner to her ends. Here you can see how beautiful her hair has neutralized out. There is no more warmth left in this. So now it's going to be ready for lilac. Now what I find with these pastel colors is the first time you tone it, a little bit of the color grabs, but usually you need two full toning processes to get it nice and saturated. So here I'm going to go ahead and apply her toner in the same way. Here's what it looks like after the first lilac toner. You can see that her roots and her ends have taken really nicely because those are already a little bit lighter. If you look right here, I can already see, even through the color that's processing, that Allie's going to end up having a lighter band here right in the middle. The top looks super lilac-y, the ends look super lilac-y, and then right here in the mid shaft, you can see that it has almost like a little blonde undertone. Because the hair is already really porous, if I put it on everything root to end, it's the ends and the roots are still going to be more vibrant than the mid shaft. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the toner a second time and I'm only going to put it on this part here that didn't absorb. And I will show you what the hair looks like at the very end. I'm going to be styling Allie's hair today with the hair repair kit. This kit is amazing for repairing processed, dry, and damaged hair. Because she just had a huge bleach and tone, we want to make sure we're restoring the nourishment so her hair stays nice and healthy for her. If you want to grab some of these products for yourself, make sure to head on over to Naven.com. Here you can see her final finished color. Isn't it beautiful? Super seamless root to end. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about how to master your bleach and tones, just leave them down below and I will get back to you. Before I let you go though, I want to let you know about a course that we have that is now live. It's called 10K in Play. This course teaches hair sauce how to earn more money and work less hours. Having more money is only amazing if you have the time freedom to spend it. This course is the exact system that Veronica and I use to set ourselves free. This course is what taught us how to earn five figures a month in part-time hours. If you want to hear more about it, make sure to head on over to 10kandplay.com. See you on the other side.